Hi, my name is Chris Robinson and I will be demonstrating my design for the Cubo Educational Cube. The clause is 1.1.1 and 1.1.2. All sides are flat and free from obstruction. And all parts are within the 250 by 250 millimeters defined in drawing DT-017-01, and also nothing is protruding out. For clause 1.1.3, as you can see, there is nothing blocking the way of the ball, and nothing that could damage it. For clause 1.1.4, there are only four openings, one on each of the functional surfaces. So one, two, three, and four. Everything else is sealed off, and therefore they are the only entry and exit points. For clause 1.1.5, the ball can pass in any direction through any entry or exit as shown. As you can see, the wire absorbs the kinetic energy and slows down the ball as it passes through which also covers clause 2.1.2. Also, clause 2.1.3 is covered by using a chain to produce a mechanical rattling sound. <clears throat> now I only had one switch, so it is being used to cover several specifications. Firstly, it turns on a, a light, which covers clause 2.1.1, and also the light flashes and has different colors, which covers clause 4.1.1. Secondly, it turns on a buzzer similar to that used in operation or loop and wire games to produce a new sound, which is quite unexpected, which covers 4.1.2. Lastly, it turns on a little motor, which has a weight on it, which produces the vibration. I'll now show you these in action. Also, the vibration covers clause 4.1.4. There's the vibration. There's the flashing lights. And there was the sound from the buzzer. It's also turned off by the switch as well. You'll notice the lights are dim as the motor is drawing a lot of the current. If these had their own power supply and switch they would work much better. Next the design is open on both sides and uses clear plastic to allow full visual of the ball as it moves through and this covers 4.1.3. The design uses simple geometry and is relatively symmetric, which would allow for manufacturing methods such as blow, mold, uh, blow molding or casting of clear plastic for bulk production, and also uses cheap electronics to produce the light, sound and vibration, which are easy to mass produce, and therefore these things cover clause 2.1.4 as well. Thank you. The wire can also sometimes make it randomly bounce out of one of the other holes, which covers clause 4.2.6. as you just saw then and there